What is up, guys? So today we're going to be going over the Eastern War update. Now, um, if you want to skip over all this, uh, there's going to be a thing on the screen that says the time. Skip to that. And you'll see a little bit of gameplay. If you want to watch the whole thing, I'd appreciate it so much. But um, to get into this, uh, they added a ton of new things uh, that I think greatly enhanced the game. Um, it also greatly... Uh, I, I'd, I'd rate the update 10 out of 10 because it implements so much new stuff that it brings. Um, it brings more combat and interaction between each team, the Coalition and Allegiance, um, with the new spawning system that they implemented and uh, the new guns. And they also added a new, like, it's like more of a grinding mindset, which I enjoy so very much. So let's get into this. So first thing, you want to log in, right? Um, and you see this. So you get 10, you get this, uh, Coalition and Allegiance. Now you get to pick which one you want, doesn't matter. Um, each do have new guns. I'll show you a little bit of that, um, uh, in gameplay. And I'll just show you like a, a little overview of, uh, you know what? We're gonna pick the Coalition. Um, I'm gonna show you the overview of this one. If you wanna check it out, go to the Allegiance and check that stuff out. So this is the menu. You get the deploy, settings, store, credits, and loadout, right? Uh, credits, it gets the credits to the developer and the owners. Um, uh, the store, it shows the Game Pass stuff you can buy with Robux and the in-game money. Now, this is where the grinding comes in. I'll tell you more about that when I get to load out. Uh, settings, you can just turn off your bloom, shadows, sun rays, and stuff like that. Deploys when you go into the battle, and it show, and I'll show you that. It's a new spawning system, which I 100% enjoy. Uh, and it'll bring so much more new stuff to the game. Um, loadouts. Click on it. You see this screen you get the primary secondary gear and the uniform right now to switch the weapons you click on the left side uh right side doesn't work middle doesn't work left side so if you want to switch weapons you so when you get in the primary you'll see the m4 acog the elekin mk18 right here and the lpvo m4 now you'll see these three these the rest are battle pass um weapons however this is just for now this is just the early update um, they will be adding new weapons um, for the guest secondary. There's only one MM17 for the Coalition and Beretta for the um, Allegiance. Here, this is the Battle Pass stuff. You get the AT4 um, and the MK9, which is the UAV. However, Allegiance does have a little bit of a, a little bit of headway for the gear. It does have an RPG that doesn't show up for the Coalition. Uniforms, this is what's going to happen later in the up future updates. They're going to be updating the uniforms. Uh, they're going to be adding custom, I think. Um, but what I really want to see implemented is is attachments. Now, if you ever played, um, what's it called? Black Hawk Quest Mission 5, they, you can go in the attachments. Oh, that's, what I, that, that's, that's where I'm seeing this game going like that, except it's a big battle royale, which I 100% enjoy playing so much. So... For uh, gaming purposes, we are going to play. I don't want the M16. Um, I'm going to be grinding for this right now. Let's check. So you see the damage, recoil, and accuracy stuff. This one's better. Level five. I'm not even level one yet. But uh, we're going to be playing with. What we're going to be playing with this. Yeah, let's play with uh, that one. So the spawning system. You click deploy, and you get this. Now this is the new spawning system. So since we're coalition, this is our base right here. And this is the base of the allegiance. Now, what I love about this is now you can spawn on the points you have been that your team has captured. So if you're you die to E and they're capturing E and you like capture point B, right? You can spawn at B and we can go to E. Uh and it's just I think there is set spawn points, so I think they should change that, make it randomized. But so far it's 10 out of 10. I love this new update. Okay, for demonstration purposes, I did buy my own private server. Um, I'm gonna be showing you what's new uh, for the for the cars. So what they did, they they, took, they added some uh, details for the cars, uh, especially the, these two um, on the on the coalition and allegiance side. The coalition side looks like this. Uh, you get in. It's more. It's more physics. The physics are um, on the gun. As you see the gun, you can see it shoot and move. Now, what they did take out was the tanks. You cannot spawn tanks. I'm clicking E. No, they took it out. It was too buggy.
Get it? Got two. Got two. Oh, this is crazy. Got him. Got him. Got him. Ooh. Got him. Oh, that was close. Man. everyone didn't I? Got him. I didn't think I got him at first. Does, they need to buff the pistol. The pistol kind of sucks. In there. Go. I'm gonna go up top. Gotta help defend right. Eliminate him. Still there. Got him. There we go. We're gonna get it. We're gonna get it.
that helicopter just got destroyed. Oh my gosh, we still got support over there too, just blowing up stuff. This is awesome.